విజయవాడ This is a transporter who charges 10000 for the truck for one trip. Srinivas owns the truck and sends the produce has gone up to Mumbai in his transport. In the Madanapet Mandi, the president of commissioning agent as was asked to as to how many kgs of tomatoes in the summer months are procured from the vicinity it was told that they arrive in quintals and per crate has 25 kgs each such crates arrive from the vicinity numbering to about 1000 crates they come from as far as 125 kilometers distance like rangareddy mahub nagar etc mahub nagar is the farthest place when the produce is plenty the rate is less the farmers could be mobilized to send more of their produce to the market to maintain the equilibrium of price normally the price of one crate varies from rupees 350 to 300 during this period from madanapalli also trucks arrive which bring the produce in three trucks each truck carrying about 250 crates the transportation cost is rupees 1 to 80 paise per kg even as far as madanapalli maximum rate obtained in this season is rupees 400 approximately that is rupees 16 per kg the transportation cost though does not vary much with the distance tomatoes are segregated by the sellers also as per the quality and red color the price varies from rupees 12 to 15 per kg in the city the price is rupees 18 to 20 rupees the tomato shelf life without refrigeration is for 2 days only there are about 6 mandis around the city the buyers deal with all the vegetables including tomatoes they do not depend only on tomatoes hoteliers local vendors and consumers prefer to pick up fresh tomatoes there are about 60 commissioning agents in the market if they do not get the produce enough on a particular day then the price increases accordingly they do not think of any alternative supply because at that point of time it is not possible so the price is hiked up in the past it has been observed that there has been shortage of onions in the market there has never been any shortage of tomatoes and will not be also the saplings of tomatoes have grown well the price between the mandis for tomatoes varies as per the supply in that particular mandi it may be the same or there is some price difference at times farmers also communicate the prices between the mandis so does not matter to the commission agents the commission agents deny that this communication affects them in any manner buyers at times buy as much as 15 to 20 crates and take them to the city relationship is smooth between farmers and mandi agents money is given immediately it begins from 5 am in the morning and it is a very rare phenomena that a farmer comes and reports to the mandi in the night sometimes four to five farmers use a common means of transport and they charge the commission agents for transportation cost the cost incurred roughly per kg is rupee 1 tomatoes have never been at their lowest rate in this season when the supply is maximum in probably say the months of march and april there were no buyers to buy tomatoes even at 25 paise per kg this is indeed a very ironical situation for the tomato growers commission agent mr govardhan shared that buyers come from as far as gatkeshar and other far off places and would buy as many as 200 to 250 crates and that days rate being rupees 200 to 250 
A farmer said that he would be able to grow a good produce if there was enough water. This farmer grew tomatoes in half acre of his land. He can grow the produce only twice because the conditions were favorable, the produce could be better. But he has very few alternatives so grows tomatoes out of limited choices. A retailer buys the produce from the mandi and sells it at a retail price. She tells about 10 crates tomatoes every day. According to the Commissioner and Director of Agriculture, any farmer could sell his commodity produce anywhere in India with his ID card which is issued to him. The online accessibility does not seem very feasible option due to the quality of tomatoes. For the urban consumers, controlling prices was a huge challenge. Mr. Ramakant Agarwal has been doing the retail business for the last 20 years. Tomato puree has been introduced 15 years back. To make 850 grams of tomato puree, 8 kgs of tomatoes are used. Consumers in Hyderabad are not very aware of the uses of tomato puree. If base price of tomato is rupees 20 per kg or more, then consumers should purchase puree as an alternative and not raw tomatoes. So it needs to be marketed properly and the consumers must be aware of these products. This would help to give a constant price to farmer. The puree is consumed more by hoteliers, canteen, cafeteria owners use it. The housewives are not aware of for how long the puree can be used after opening the can. The businessmen felt that Puree can be marketed in smaller quantities worth rupees 10 or rupees 20. The sale of ketchup, on the other hand, has increased 70%. Preservatives used in sauce is more so it can use it more than three months after opening, whereas puree's shelf life is only five days after reopening, even if refrigerated. Price at consumer level can only be controlled when supply and demand are equal. The balance between supply and demand needs to be created. If there is a shortage in supply, then more sellers need to be created through online with the assurance of some minimum support price which includes transportation cost. Shortage in demand can be coped by searching the outside market for the local farmers to sell through online process. The farmers from outside can enter into any market, but market committee should ensure that the outside farmers should not cross certain limit in terms of the percentage of total demand during that period. Once the limit crosses, the farmers in the online process cannot access it. If there can be a regulation which states that those who assure quality but not deliver it, a penalty would be revised by exposing the names to the online buyers who would be careful of buying from such sellers. In case, if local farmer supply is more, then they will be encouraged to apply online in any other city town market. These creations should be explored by Mandi Commissioning Agents, Agriculture Market Committee officials. Another alternative can be cold storage to establish in Mandi. This infrastructure should be developed by either Mandi agent or agriculture market committee officials. Sale limits for outside sellers will vary according to the seasonal demand but percentages will be the same throughout the annual period.